One of the most common questions that I get is, what about the problem of garbage in, garbage out in portfolio modeling? Most of the time, the people that ask me this question are thinking about the accuracy of the business data estimates and the forecasts that are used in a modeling system. But there are really three other questions besides how accurate is the data that need to be considered when it comes to dealing with the garbage in, garbage out problem. The first question is, is the metric quantifiable and how does it impact project value? The second one is, what is the precision or uncertainty around the data? And the third one is, how important is the data to our decision? The answer to the question, is the metric quantifiable and does it impact project value, determines whether or not that data should even be considered in the portfolio model. Most of the time, I have found that metrics that aren't quantifiable don't impact business value anyway, so it is an important question to ask from the start. Keeping out non-value-adding metrics from the model is the first step to keeping garbage out of the model. Next, the answer to the question, is the data accurate, is really critical because most other portfolio management systems only accept single point data values. So the accuracy of those values is absolutely critical to what comes out in the final analysis. So if your data is not accurate, the results you get out are going to be garbage regardless of how good your model is. The other question that needs to be asked is what is the precision or uncertainty around the data? Let me use a quick illustration comparing four people throwing darts at a bullseye. The first illustration shows a situation where the person throwing the darts is neither accurate or precise. The second illustration shows a situation where the person throwing darts is extremely precise but not very accurate. The third illustration shows a situation where the person throwing the darts is accurate but not very precise. You might say that their precision or uncertainty for hitting the bullseye is about the size of the entire target. And the fourth illustration, of course, shows a situation where the person throwing the darts is both accurate and precise. The garbage in, garbage out problem occurs most often when it is assumed that the data is represented by the last illustration, that is, being both accurate and precise. But this is almost never the case. So while you might be thinking that you have accurate data, you are more likely to have generally accurate data that isn't very precise. In fact, virtually all data that goes into project portfolio management analyses has a great deal of uncertainty around it. Because of this, unless you can account for the uncertainty in your data, your result is likely to be way off target. You might be throwing darts without even knowing where the target is or whether or not you've even hit it. And it isn't just around the project data that you put into the analysis. It is also around the data that you use in the model itself, such as how you rank your attributes. So the key takeaway here is to question and understand both the accuracy and the precision or uncertainty around your data. If your system requires an assumption of accuracy without consideration of the uncertainty or precision, then you're likely to end up with a result that may feel accurate and precise, but is in fact inaccurate, imprecise, or both. Furthermore, if you can't see the uncertainty around your results, you won't be able to see either the upside or downside risks associated with your portfolios. So, garbage in, garbage out is one of the big problems in project portfolio management and project ranking. But, even if you have great data and you understand the precision around the data, if you have a lousy model, you won't get good results. I call this the gold in garbage out situation. Ideally, the best situation is to have great data and great analytics to get the best results. However, you can still get excellent results even if you have merely good data but you have great analytics. The results, of course, can only be as good as the data, but at least you'll see the uncertainty in your outcome.